To service the valve assemblies, begin by removing the 8 hex socket head bolts using a 10mm allen wrench. Next, remove the discharge manifold. While supporting the manifold, use a rubber hammer and tap away from the crankcase. Completely remove the manifold and place on a flat work surface. For ease of service, support the inlet manifold with a block. The discharge valve assemblies are located beneath the valve adapters. The inlet assemblies are located beneath the low-pressure seal adapters. Both the inlet and discharge assemblies are identical. Two kits are required to service the pump. To service or replace the discharge assemblies, begin by removing the valve adapter using two flathead screwdrivers. Inspect the O-rings for any nicks or tears. Also ensure the bottom of the adapter has a smooth surface. Using a pick, remove the discharge valve seat. Inspect the tapered area of the valve seat for any pitting or damage. Next, remove the valve, again checking the tapered area of the valve for any pitting or damage. Remove the spring and check for proper tension. Remove the discharge spring retainer. Inspect the spring retainer for cracks, excessive wear, or damage. Last, using the pick, remove the valve seat o-ring. Inspect the o-ring for cuts, nicks, or damage. To remove the inlet valve assemblies, begin by removing the low pressure seal adapters. Using two flathead screwdrivers, reach into the grooves on the seal adapters and pry away from the manifold. Inspect the o-rings for cuts, nicks, or damage and ensure the bottom surface of the adapter is flat. Remove the inlet valve seats from the valve chambers. Inspect the tapered area of the valve seat for any pitting or damage. Remove the valve and inspect the tapered surface for any signs of pitting or damage. Remove the spring and check for proper tension. Remove the valve spring retainer and inspect for any signs of cracks, excessive wear, or damage. Last, using a pick, remove the valve seat o-ring. Inspect the o-ring for cuts, nicks, or damage. To install or replace the valve assembly, begin by lubricating the inlet valve seat and install on the step of the valve chamber. Next, install the spring retainer with notch facing down into the valve chamber. Place the spring down into the inlet spring retainer, followed by the valve with concave side facing down. Last, place the valve seat with the tapered surface facing down. Before reinstalling the low pressure seal adapters, replace the O-rings provided in the valve kit. Using a pick, remove both O-rings. Next, install the new O-rings on the low pressure seal adapter. Before installing the low pressure seal adapter, lubricate the o-rings and with the o-ring side facing up, press into place. To reinstall or replace the discharge valve assemblies, repeat the same process as the inlet valves. Start with the o-ring, then valve retainer,
spring. Valve with concave side down. And valve seat. Using a pick, remove and replace the two O-rings located on the valve adapter. Before reinstalling, lubricate the O-rings and place into manifold with the long tab into the valve chamber and press into place. Use caution when reinstalling the discharge manifold over the ceramic plungers to avoid damage. Using a rubber hammer, tap the discharge manifold evenly until contact is made with the inlet manifold. Hand thread in the eight hex socket head bolts. Using a 10 millimeter Allen wrench, tighten using proper sequence and torque to specification.